their cell phone video for you again. Let's listen in. I, I want to warn you um, that we're not sure about the language on this. This is raw video that we're showing you. This was cell phone video from the scene of the Century 16 movie theater in Aurora, Colorado, apparently shortly after uh, the shooting there. Well, yeah, like I said, I, I don't want to upset anybody by anything that I say, but I just don't feel like anybody should be kept in the dark about what happened. Um, the witness that was in Theater 9 was a, a, a young woman. She was talking to me. I, I had asked her what theater she was in, and she said 9, and I just asked her if she saw anything or if anything happened. Um, what she described it, it, at first, I didn't translate it quite well. It, it sounded like madness to me. Um, she said that a man uh, about six feet tall, taller than her, uh, kicked through the door, and he was in a, a like she said a riot helmet. Um, she said he was it had a bulletproof vest on. Uh, you know, she said that he was completely covered in all black with goggles. And he, she said that um, after that point, when she saw that he was holding a shotgun, they, her and her boyfriend dropped to the floor and just kind of started to crawl to see if they could get away. Um, they got up and they started to run through the emergency exit. Um, she said that when she turned around, all she saw was the guy slowly making his way up the stairs and just firing at people, just picking random people. Here at Swedish Medical Center, we are a level one trauma center. We're actually not the primary hospital that would be receiving patients, um, but because of our level one designation and our proximity yes, to the shooting, we are receiving several patients at this time. We have currently received three patients to our emergency department. They are all listed with gunshot wounds and they are all listed in condition. And we have put our external disaster plan into effect as of about 1.15 a.m and we are prepared for up to 20 more patients to be inbound at this time. And we are hearing that this happened at a cinema, at a movie theater, and that there may be as many as 10 people dead, as well as the um, perhaps 30 to 40 injured. Can you confirm any of that? Uh, we can't confirm any fatalities at this time. Um, essentially, we have not been in communication with police on the scene. The way it works for us to initiate our disaster plans is that the emergency medical responders will call out to hospitals and ask for us to give them information about our available beds and how many patients we can take, how many critical, how many uh, stable, et cetera, and walking wounded. And, and we give them those numbers based on the number of beds we have available. So really the only information we have at this time are regarding the patients that are inbound to our hospital. Uh, just like the rest of Colorado, we're anxiously awaiting updates to see what actually happened at the scene.